بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear children, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله We will continue with our lesson that we studied in the last class Please revise whatever we have studied and let us continue When we do sajda, we become the lowest and then we say, O oh Allah, you are the highest. In this position, we become closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It shows our humbleness and our true position in front of Allah. It is a symbol of surrender. That is, O oh Allah, we will do everything that you will say. I praise you, I love you, I do sajda in worship. Remember that we should not do sajda to anyone in this world. We should do sajda only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also remember again, we said subhana. That means, O oh Allah, you are free from defects or faults or deficiencies. This means that we do not have any complaint on all those things on which we have no control. We don't complain about our color, our face, our nose, our eyes, our weather, you know, or the house or the school. We take it positively. We say, Oh Allah, you know what was best for me. You gave this as a test. Now, please help me do the best in everything. In my prayers, in my studies, in my behavior, etc. Therefore, we should have always positive attitude. Never complain about anything that is beyond our control. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen, nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'i. Dear children, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We will continue with our lesson now. There is one more dua in sajda, if you want you can do it, otherwise no problem. And it is, subhanaka Allahumma rabbana wa bihamdika, Allahumma afirli. Subhanaka, glorified are you. Allahumma, O oh Allah, Rabbana, our Lord, wa bihamdika, and with your praise. Allahumma, O oh Allah, ighfirli, forgive me. This is the only new word in this one. All of the rest, I think you know. Ighfir, forgive li, me. Ighfirli, forgive me. O oh Allah, again in this dua, we say, O oh Allah, you are free from defects, subhanakallahumma. Rabbana, you are our Lord. Bihamdika, all praise and thanks is for you. And then we ask, O oh Allah, forgive me. In sajda, we are closest to Allah. So, it is the best position to ask for forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can practice this again three, four, five times till you memorize each and every word. Now we come to spoken Arabic. In spoken Arabic, we are learning two sentences here. When we want to encourage someone to continue on some good thing, we'll say tawakkal ala Allah. Meaning, tawakkal have trust ala Allah in Allah. Tawakkal ala Allah means have trust in Allah. Tawakkal ala Allah, have trust in Allah. Repeat it five, six times till you memorize this properly. And if you are already doing something good, then you will say, Tawakkaltu ala Allah. I'm doing it and Tawakkaltu. I have trusted. Tawakkaltu ala Allah. I have trusted in Allah. Tawakkaltu ala Allah. I have trusted in Allah. Or I trusted in Allah. Tawakkaltu ala Allah. I trusted in Allah. Now we come to grammar. In grammar, we will learn two prepositions, an and ma. An means about or with. There are other meanings also, but just let us use the word about. And we are learning basic meanings. There are other meanings also, which we will learn later on. So we will do it in four cycles again. First cycle where we will learn with translation. Repeat after me. Anhu about him. Anhu about him. Anhum about them. Anhum about them. Anka about you. Anka about you. 
ankum about you all ankum about you all anni about me anni about me anna about us anna about us and you can repeat this again couple of times we'll go to the next cycle where you will translate anhu about him anhum about them anka about you ankum about you all anni about me anna about us anha about her in third cycle we will repeat in arabic only we will say as if we are talking to arabs so repeat after me anhu anhum anhu anhum anka ankum anka ankum anni anna anni anna and in the last cycle i will just show the signs and you will repeat anhu anhu anka ankum anni anna anha anhu anhum anka ankum anni anna anha when you practice this remember the meanings feel them as you say it now let us go to the next word which is ma ma means with to remember this uh, preposition you can remember the famous saying in allah ma sabirin indeed allah is with those who are sabirin patient who persevere who continue working whatever difficulties come they don't give up for doing good okay so let us imagine ma'ahu with him allah is with him mashallah is practicing is learning arabic he's doing good things with them allah is with them they are all practicing you know to learn quran ma'aka with you you are practicing quran allah is with you ma'akum with you all ma'i with me inshallah because i am also trying to learn ma'ana with us because we are trying to learn in quran and do good things allah is ma'ana inshallah and ma'aha with her because she is also trying to learn quran and do good things so let us practice it again in four cycles first cycle with meanings repeat after me ma'ahu with him ma'ahu with him ma'ahum with them ma'ahum with them ma'aka with you ma'aka with you ma'akum with you all ma'akum with you all ma'i with me ma'i with me ma'ana with us ma'ana with us ma'aha with her ma'aha with her second cycle you translate ma'ahu with him ma'ahum with them ma'aka with you ma'akum with you all ma'i with me ma'ana with us ma'aha with her ma'ahu with him ma'ahum with them ma'aka with you ma'akum with you all ma'i with me ma'ana with us ma'aha with her and you can repeat more third cycle is we talk to arabs nobody understands english here repeat after me ma'ahu ma'ahum ma'ahu ma'ahum ma'aka ma'akum ma'aka ma'akum ma'i ma'ana ma'i ma'ana ma'aha ma'aha the fourth cycle is i will just show the signs and you will repeat and i will say it slowly for recording sake ma'ahu ma'ahum ma'aka ma'akum ma'i ma'ana ma'aha you can repeat again and again till you get this memorized very well remember again this these seven words have come in the quran hundreds of times at the end i will say you know do all your homeworks fill up the worksheets listen to the tape look at the poster in your room learn the meanings from it at different times in the day and start your homework as a general advice whenever you start your homework any day of the week start with this book for 3 to 5 minutes maybe 3 minutes study the lesson and then start any other thing inshallah you will remember the meanings you will easily learn everything plus allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give baraka and blessings in all your studies because you're starting with the book of allah with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah give us tawfiq to recite quran understand quran and implement quran and spread the message of the quran and follow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has in fact shown us how to follow the quran in our lives subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik